So here we have the Ace PC. Let's do a little unboxing. In there, you're gonna get the Ace PC itself, but we'll come back to that in a mo. We've got the instruction manual, and inside this box, you're also gonna have the three pin UK power adapter, and also an HDMI to HDMI cable, so you can plug this in your monitor. Now, looking at the Ace PC itself, it's, I, I like it. What, what do you think? I, I genuinely really like the styling of this. You've got a little LED bit on the front you've got a ton and I mean a ton of imports you got four USBs it's absolutely ridiculous and the fan on the bottom as well but we'll have a look at that in a mo so if you did want to expand your storage space voila we have an SSD housing which is going to give you greater performance and also give you better storage as well simply pop it on and pop it off as well but this mini PC does come with 8 gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte of internal storage and we just said you can upgrade that via the SSD slot under that top ace PC cover now USB ports we have two USB 3 so super high speed Speed and one USB 2 but we do actually have another USB slot on the side as well and they have an SD card slot and the power button we've got HDMI's that other USB the power the LAN cable and the switch to get your SSD in and a headphone and mic jack as well so anyway we're gonna go through some little performance tests these are all down in the description below so you can go and have a look at the timestamps so now we're gonna have a look at the initial setup actually of the ace PC now if you've set up a Windows computer a Windows machine before then I'm not going to insult your intelligence you're just going to connect to Wi-Fi you're going to put in a password you're going to put in a pin and this is why I've sped this up by 800% now remember this does already come pre-installed and pre-activated with 64-bit Windows 10 home edition so you've got everything on there which you'd expect this is like premium level stuff but I'm going to say a budget price and you'll see in the performance performance tests in a mo that actually some of the tests on this PC actually are greater and better than your budget laptops as well now remember you will obviously need to get a keyboard and a mouse with this but anyway right let's have a look at the actual benchmarks we did do a couple of benchmarks here now I like you are probably not expecting much and the results do speak for themselves it's it's not going to give you great performance results but in reality you're actually going to get a lot inside this little mini PC and we're going to go on to the gaming in a mo as well and you're going to see we're well, no no drop frames or anything you're going to be able to play on things you can see that if we go to compare to a budget laptop actually our GPU score is 15% higher than most so actually we're doing really well now we did start doing a Cinebench test but really there's no point because you're not going to be buying this Acer PC this mini PC with you know your activated Windows 10 and your great internal storage and your great RAM you're not going to be buying that to be doing VR gaming it's very relative to what the consumer me and you actually need so you know if I want to just do office work I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, photography editing which we'll see in a mo this is gonna be perfect for it we're not gonna link up our oculus rift we're you're not gonna you know do high-end gaming on this so remember it's all relative so anyway, what we're going to look at now is just have a look at office work and browsing what you and I will actually use this for and what these tests will show. So we're just going to go online. We're going to download a, uh, a PDF of a user manual and actually, yep, see how this it downloaded quick it opened quick but what we're going to do also in a moment is actually save this file offline then open it up because this is the kind of work that you're going to be doing you're going to be downloading opening stuff word documents you're going to be doing excel documents and you might do a little bit of photo editing so anyway let's open up this document and pff, voila you know our document is open and you know we haven't got any programs running in the background everything's already been updated and that so now if you are running and are massively multitasking then you might not get the performance that you're seeing on the screen right now 
But anyway, right, let's go into a little bit of photo editing. Now, I love my photos, okay? I don't use Photoshop Express too much, but anyway, let's grab a picture off of the internet because there's none on default actually on the system itself. So let's just go into portraits and do you know what? Let's actually, let's get the max resolution that we possibly can. Let's go for an extra large image and this guy here seems pretty decent. So we're just going to right click, save as in full resolution. So now we can just go back in, we can go onto our desktop and we can open up this guy. And then we can just start playing around within this Express editing application and everything works you know you you're going to expect this it's, it's got a good amount of ram on there you are going to be able to do things easily you are going to be able to uh, save browse and do a little bit of gaming which i am going to be showing you in just a moment but you want to edit your pictures you can easily edit your pictures now all of these applications apart from the couple of games are actually pre-installed on this ace, ace pc anyway so you don't need to buy any additional software so anyway, so let's open up our little exported uh, image and uh, it's kind of more digital art and uh, creepy manipulation. Um, I was just messing around to give you, you know, kind of what you can do on there. Should have, maybe, maybe should have done it a little bit more arty. Anyway, Word documents inbuilt again, okay? So typing, the clarity of the Word document. Everything's easy, everything's as you know. Now this is just a Word document um, from my OneDrive and I just thought I'd start typing and I, I, I can't spell on some of the things and so I actually uh, uh, apologize for that. But anyway, the thing that you've probably been most looking forward to is the gaming. Remember, visit cssgoda.com. So let's have a look at our first game. Now I went for a bit of a high graphics game to see and I was expecting a lot of drop frames but we got a little couple at the start but actually throughout the gameplay and I played it for about 10 minutes so you're only seeing little snippets of this didn't actually get hardly any drop frames it didn't affect any of the gameplay the only thing that affected the gameplay was my very or coordination when actually just using uh, the keyboard. I haven't got a, uh, a Bluetooth, um, a Bluetooth controller, which you can obviously connect to this Ace PC as well. Um, but yeah, just me driving around and thought, no, people might think that's like a preloaded. So what I'm actually going to do is do the first round, and then so here we are in my Mitsubishi Evo still learning there uh, yeah drifting recharges your nitro bar uh, if interested uh, but anyway what i'm trying to show you here is do you know what the graphics on this is pretty decent remember we're talking at we're not a high-end pc we are like a still a budget pc but it's relative again you're only going to be paying 150 200 pounds for this okay all the links for this are going to be down in the description so remember you will need obviously a monitor you will need a keyboard and you will need a mouse and if you wanted to expand your storage then you will need to buy an ssd or you can obviously plug in an external hard drive into usb3 inputs which you've got two of so you know there's no no excuse for that and it's tiny it's absolutely tiny as well anyway you know if if the kids wanted to play a game here we go minions coming from uh, the play store look you know it, it just works now let's have a look at some browsing let's have a look at some youtube because i know that's what you people absolutely love doing as i love doing now if you didn't know about this site cssco.com harmless plug my video my channel i'm allowed to do that i am allowed to do that aren't i um so as you can see the scrolling slight little bit of ghosting on there but nothing major uh, apart from that very smooth very quick now the load times of the actual web page is going to be indifferent because that's to do with my server and my internet here as well um, and then we'll just head over to YouTube because I know you love watching YouTube because you're on YouTube right now um, so let's watch another video of my good self I hope you do like it uh, this is my latest one top five filing codes and pins um, uh, this is the December one we've got a January one out already so overall you know this ace PC is absolute quality bang for your buck you've got everything in there the 8 gig of ram the 128 gigabyte storage yes it's a seller on uh processor but you know it's actually working pretty bloody well um windows 10 premium already activated 
just plug it in set it up and you're good to go let me know your thoughts down below and please think about sharing this video